God bless you and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Real quick before we get started, I did want to let you guys know I did get a code compliance letter from the city. I do not live in an HOA, but they're saying I cannot paint my car with spray paint in my garage. My neighbors came out and were being really nosy whenever we were sanding and painting the car. Keep in mind we were sanding during the daytime and it wasn't even close to a time to stop. We weren't getting noise complaints. We haven't had the police at our house or anything like that. And they went behind our backs to the city and complained that we were painting this car. Now we're trying to do a good deed by giving this car away and making sure it's nice. So if you guys could please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and drop a comment. We're trying to get as much ad revenue as we can off these videos so that way we can move out into the country. So please stay tuned for more. And the videos that do come out after this, we're not shot in this garage after the code compliance letter. Uh, I'm just behind on video, so here they are. So in the video that came out right before this one, we used the primer turbo sprayer. This is from Rust-Oleum, by the way. Uh, laid out really, really good. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the description. It is really smooth all the way through. We used two and a half cans uh, to do the entire car. Now this car was donated to us and we are actually cleaning it up, fixing it up and donating it to someone else to pay it forward. Uh, and we're doing all of that in Jesus name. So I just wanted to uh, give you a little backstory. So we are at this point, we're gonna go ahead and use these uh, scotch brights. My brother said it's a good idea to rip them. So we're gonna do that. So <laughs> ripped them up and we're gonna basically scuff this whole thing down, wipe it down and it should look something like this. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but it is nice and smooth and it laid down really well. So we're basically just doing this so we can lay down the sunburst yellow. So this car is going to be a very bright color and uh, we're just going to go ahead, get this thing scuffed. And after it's scuffed, we will go ahead and lay down the yellow. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button.
Okay, so last night we ran out of paint to do the hood, so I had to do it again the next day, and it came out really good on the hood, so the hood absolutely looks awesome. It's nice and glossy, it's dry, and uh, overall it's really not bad. The only issue we really had was going over the darker color, the gray primer, instead of a white primer. So uh, we had to go over it more, which used 10 cans total to get it to this point. There is no gloss clear or anything on it. We just wanted it to look better than it did. We also went ahead and replaced the outer tie rod end because it was bad and it just wasn't safe. So we went ahead and just put a brand new one in, uh, made sure the uh, park lights work, the brake lights work, uh, the reverse lights work, headlights work, hazards work and brights work and all of that stuff because it does have to pass a safety inspection and uh, overall it looks really really nice um, the only thing I recommend is that primer sand it down more uh, because it does orange peel quite a bit I'll show you up close this thing has a lot of orange peel uh, normally my spray can jobs don't have that much orange peel you can check my other videos if you don't believe me and yes it does still have some dents and dings but for a free car if I was given this, I wouldn't complain. If you didn't see, we painted the steelies white, put some note cards around, and just basically scuffed them up really good, cleaned them, and painted them white, and they look pretty good. Now, the wheels that were on here looked good, but they were way too big. I'm not sure why they were on here. That's how it was delivered, but it was rubbing the fender and the frame a little bit and the fender lining and stuff like that, so we took them off to put these steelies on. Uh, I don't have any other nicer wheels right? I put those on, but we just wanted it to look good. And all the way through, this thing does look pretty decent. Now, the hood does have more coats on it because I wanted to cover that gray really well. The whole car, if it was to be wet sanded one more time and then added another coat over it, it would have came out even better. But for a free car that's going to be helping someone who's getting back on their feet and getting his life together and he's holding Bible studies and he needs transportation. So this is going to be going to him. And it's also because of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys liking the videos, sharing them around, dropping comments, um, these videos wouldn't have reached the individuals who donated these cars. So please keep doing what you're doing. It really does help. I want to keep blessing as many people as we can. I was able to bless my brother AJ with a EJ8 Civic because his Integra wasn't running and it was quite a ways away from running. And I gave him a car that was donated and we got it all cleaned up and stuff. And it's going to be painted soon. Um, and he's really thankful for that car for sure. And, uh, and that Integra ended up going to our buddy Eddie, and he's going to make it live on as well. And he's almost got it fully running, uh, so that's good. And AJ's car is now running and driving. We went through, that was a task on its own. The valve train was all loose and some other issues, uh, a lot of mold in it. But I have more videos on Texas Honda Channel on that if you guys want to check it out. I'll link it in the description. But uh, overall, came out pretty good for a cheap spray can paint job. Definitely nice. My brother went ahead and detailed the inside as well, uh, vacuuming it and making it look as clean as possible inside. And here's what it looks like inside now. Definitely pretty good. And went ahead and cleaned the windows as well. Got them looking nice and clean inside and out. And it was leaking water through, so we actually sealed right up there along the seal. There was a hole. Uh, water was just pouring right in, so we went ahead and sealed that up. But overall, looks pretty good. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoy making these kinds of videos for you guys. Uh, we are looking to get property so I can do this more full time. We don't have enough room here to continue doing this all the time. So uh, that's one reason we're trying to pump out videos as good as we can, get all them views up. Uh, that'll bring in some more ad revenue and it will help a lot. So please consider sharing these videos around if you enjoy them and uh, drop comments below. I try to respond to them or at least heart react them. So bear with me if I don't get to it, go to my newest video. I tend to get uh, caught up on the newer videos soon. So definitely do that. But uh, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and get off here and quit talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, drop a comment, share it around and subscribe if you're new here. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here. We have much more to do. We'll see you in the next video. God bless. Before I get off here, I wanted to mention there will be a free Gideon Bible download in the description for Apple or Android. Uh, everyone should know the word of God, what Jesus came to do. He came to save the sinner and set the captive free. He died for you and me, went up to that cross, died and defeated death. Three days later, rose from the grave and now has the keys to death. Anyone who believes in his finished work at the cross will be saved. If you have addiction or bondage or anything that is holding you down or you don't feel loved, 
God says he loves you, so much so that he gave his only begotten son. And we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. So it's not of our works. It's of our faith in Jesus and what he did. So I just wanted to let you guys know the good news, that everyone has a chance. So repent, turn from your sin, and trust in the Lord. But that is basically it for this video. And until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.